Okay guys, I'm going to check if the stream is working as usual. Let's check that out. Receiving new content, awesome. Come on, come on YouTube. That out. Yep, it's working, awesome. For some reason it's 30 frames per second, which is weird. I selected 60. Oh, whatever. Let's get started. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello. How are you doing guys? ¿Cómo están todos? Okay guys, so today I'm going to be testing Jump Force on the... Sorry, sorry. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Jump Force on the GTX 1050 Ti. I got early access since I purchased the Ultimate Edition. I know it's a stupid move, but three days early this time around meant a lot because on Friday there are a ton of games releasing on the same day. So if I can get this one, sorry, if I can get this one done before those are out, awesome. I can dedicate more time to it. So yeah, let's get started. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? How are you doing, guys? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you the options menu. This is running on Unreal Engine 4, but as I it's made on Unreal Engine 4. So I'm going to be selecting 1080p. On the frame rate, we got 60 or 30. That's kind of disappointing, if you ask me. Then we have V-Sync on or off, anti-aliasing, low, medium, high, shadows, low to ultra, we keep it on medium, textures from low to ultra, we keep it on ultra. And then here, post-process effects, all those go from low to ultra, except in grass, it stays from low to high. So these are the options I'll be using right now. Everything on, yes, pretty much medium settings with post-process and anti on high. And that should be about it. So let's use these settings and play the game a little bit. At least I don't fly match with versus the CPU. I'll let the CPU fight itself since they know how to play the game better. I'm trying to just um, see the performance first, then I'll play the game. The intro was a little long, that's, was, that's, why, that's why we are in this place right now. So let's let them fight by themselves. Sí, salió para PC, por supuesto. Sale si tenés la edición Ultimate. Si no tenés la edición Ultimate, sale en tres días. Compré la edición Ultimate para poder jugar antes. I bought the Ultimate Edition in order to access the game three days early. And that's very important if because I'm trying to play the latest games and five games release on the same day on Friday. So yeah. Are you using the 1063 gigs or 6 gigs on later videos? I'm probably going to be using both. We'll see. Okay. So at the moment with these settings, we're getting 60 frames per second. Good. The game looks a little washed out on the color. That's because of the post-processing option. And due to the effects being on medium, I don't have any screen space reflections. That's why the game is looking a little flat. So be aware of that. I'm not playing right now. The CPU is playing against itself. So we can see how a lot of effects on screen look like. Will that 750 Ti handle it? Yes, of course. But expect half the frame rate compared to this. Well, Jim Boss, you can just not watch it and that's about it. <laughs> My i3-100 pair with 1050 Ti and 580, what do you mean? But yeah, so far it's running pretty good with these settings. Pretty good stuff. Even with effects on screen. But the frame times are a little jittery, I have to say. I don't like that. Sí, después lo pongo en ultra, no te preocupes. Paciencia. I will put it on ultra later. Be a little patient. Okay. Okay, good stuff. That put the GPU up to 90%, but we didn't drop below 60. Maybe a little bit, but nothing major. Still playable, I'd say. Mm, 
My i3 100 per with 750 M580 shows pixelated 3K bitrate settings. Could you tell me why? Well, 3K bitrate is very low. That's why it's pixelated. Yeah, this seems to be fine for 60 frames per second. I'm pretty impressed, actually. I was expecting much worse from Unreal Engine, uh, an effect heavy Unreal Engine 4 game. So at the moment I'm pretty surprised. We'll see about other stages, maybe something with more grass or something. But yeah. In case you're so say para consola. Ah, no, sorry para PC también. El Anthem, sí, pero muy poco. Tuve problemas con los servidores. Can I pair an Ryzen 3 2200G with a 1063GB playing PUBG with ultra settings? Yes, you can, but don't use ultra settings. You, you won't be maintaining 60 constant. In the meantime, while this fight is going on, I'll be notifying people that I'm streaming. I forgot about that small detail that I had to tell people because YouTube's notifications don't work correctly. Alright. Almost there. Give me one second, guys. Where's the link? Okay. Jump Force benchmark stream. Right now on YouTube Gaming. I'll put the same on Discord, so <laughs> more people know what's going on. <laughs> La máquina está jugando contra la máquina, no estoy jugando yo ahora. <laughs> the machine is playing against the machine, I'm not playing right now, it's AI versus AI. So... Okay, I notified everyone. So let's get back into the game. Just an anime. Me gusta Naruto. Okay, guys, I'm back. For some reason, the stream cut off randomly. I'm back now. So sorry about that. As I was saying in in Spanish, I watched Dragon Ball and Naruto a while back. I don't watch it anymore. But I like the characters. They are pretty interesting. Want to see how it performs on Ultra? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing that in just a second. I'll be doing that in just a second. Give me. Okay. I'll go back into the lobby. <laughs> sí, tal cual. Parece prototype 1 el mapa. Sí, tal cual. Porque es Times Square. Soy de Uruguay, pelado. Ok, guys, so now I'm going to be using Ultra Settings. Voy a cambiar a Ultra. So we put Shadows on Ultra, Post Processing on Ultra, Effects as well, Grass. I have to find a map with Grass, it will be pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, we confirm. As you can see now, the shadows are, are much sharper over here. And let's go into a battle. Now I'll play myself. It will be much more fun, hopefully. Eh, ya sé el juego si compras la edición Ultimate. Si compras la edición normal salen tres días. Es el juego final. This is the Ultimate Edition. That's why I got it early. In order to be able to do videos early. This is the final game. Ok guys, so now I'm using Ultra Settings. Let me change the status. 1080p Ultra at the moment, so it's clear what we're doing. Okay, I can already see it drops below 60, no big deal. And there's a lot of motion blur, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> but the game still runs pretty good, we're over 50, but I can feel some slowdown. Oh yeah, still pretty smooth. <laughs> considering that I'm going from medium to ultra. 
I can already see that the game feels, yeah, significantly less smooth. But we have screen space reflections, we have more vibrant colors. Yeah, especially when effects show up. I can see, I can feel the drops in the frame rate. The frame time is very jittery, gotta say. I mean, look at this, when I'm using an effect on screen, I get into the 40s. So yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. So yeah, if you want to play at 60, just drop it into into medium settings, something like that. Because if not, when effects show up, it's going to feel weird. Oh, sorry. No, I'm Naruto. I cannot see anything due to the heavy motion blur. I found that the only way to turn motion blur off was to dis to lower post processing to the minimum, which is a shame actually, because post processing on the minimum looks terrible. There is no ambient occlusion, the colors are not vibrant at all. So yeah, it's kind of terrible. But yeah, my recommendation on this one: don't use any ultra. Lower it to I don't know medium settings on most of the options. But yeah, no, you don't have to change the motherboard. What do you mean? Sí, se ve bastante bien el ultra. Lo que yo digo nomás es que me molesta el motion blur. Sin el motion blur sería perfecto para mí. I was just complaining about motion blur, guys. Some people like it. In Ultra, I think it's a little too much. Whoa, so many effects. <laughs> we drop into the 30s with that one. Okay. But yeah, the game looks pretty good, I have to say. And all the particles and that. Okay. Let's change to the other one from One Piece. I forgot the name. Yeah, I know. I'm a terrible human being. There we go. Got him. Okay. So yeah, keep that in mind. When effects show up, you will get drops into the frame rate. And you can control most of that by lowering the effects option, but you'll lose all the reflections, the screen space reflections will be gone. You won't have uh, as many particles and all that. That's what I saw so far. So yeah, I won. That wasn't so hard. Good. Con eso ya ramba bien. Si está usando 4.2 GB nomás. One thing that I have to mention, guys, is using around 4.2 gigs of system RAM. So if you have 8 gigs of RAM, it should be just fine. No worries. I'll go now to 900p Ultra to see what we got with that one, to see if we get more consistent frame rates. But so far it's shaping up to be performing pretty well. We'll see once we get into a part with grass or something like that. Very good, we'll try 900p Ultra. Give me one second, I have to change the status to 900p Ultra. But yeah, mostly what you want to lower to get better performance is effects and um, post-processing and shadows like on all, all other Unreal Engine 4 games. So you have shadows, textures, post-processing effects, grass. Just lower this, this and this and you'll be good. Try to get post-processing on medium and shadows on medium so you don't lose the color and the shadows don't disappear. And that's pretty much all you have to take into account. Other than that, you should be all right. Okay. Do you think that 1066 gigs will get 60 FPS constant? Yes, of course. It should be just fine. It should be completely fine. I mean, if the if on this card is running this well, on the 1060 should be piece of cake. This game's out. It's out in around three days. I got the Ultimate Edition to play it early. So yeah, if you get the Ultimate Edition, you can play it right now. If not, if you get the Standard Edition, like most people should, you, you'll be getting it on Thursday, at this time. Which is 11 p.m. in South American time. 
Okay, so 900p ultra. Wait, I have to make uh, an attack or something. Holy hell. Alright. Okay, so when effects show up, I get into the mid 50s. No big deal. Probably going to be worse with Naruto. I'll stop to Naruto in a second. How do I swap? <laughs> I cannot swap, okay. No worries. Perfect, okay, we didn't see any major drops there. So the effect that I got the biggest performance hit at was the Tail Beast Bomb Rasen Shuriken. Sorry if I messed that up. This one. Okay, it wasn't too bad, we stayed at 60s anyways. Oh, I, I couldn't unlock the frame rate from the options menu, you can you probably have to edit a config file. Since this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, it should be pretty easy to unlock the frame rates. But it's kind of disappointing that we have to do that manually. But hey, this is what we got. <laughs> And honestly, I'm pretty surprised with the performance so far. I was expecting significantly worse results. Considering what I saw on the consoles, those drops into the 20s. That was a little concerning. Okay, I lost the first round, I think. Okay. This one is super heavy on the GPU. Oh, we're not in control of the game. Okay guys, I should be back now, sorry about that. My internet is kinda dodgy at the moment. Good thing I'm using some delay on the stream, so in case something happens you just skip to the latest part. Anyways, as I was saying, on 900p Ultra, so far it's running at 60 frames per second with drops into the 50s with many effects on screen. So just lower effects from Ultra to High on 900p and you should be getting pretty consistent 60 frames per second. Oh yeah. eh, digo, práctica nomás, di el first certificate y después practiqué por mi cuenta Mirar muchas series en inglés con subtítulos en inglés, leer libros, eso ayuda mucho So, as I was saying, the yeah, 900p is alright I'm going to be swapping to 720p now I'll swap to this character, good I don't even know what I'm doing Oh man Okay, nothing weird going on. Yo tengo un 12 en inglés. Bueno, es práctica. Practicar se iba a mejorar. Come on. Let's see what happens with this. Okay. Still over 60, good. That was pretty cool. Okay, come on. Okay, one more attack and I'll be back into the options menu, guys. Okay. So let's go back into the options menu. I have to exit the match in order to do that. Do you have any problems with a new NVIDIA driver? No, I'm using the latest one and it's working just fine. Okay, now 720p on the highest settings. Good. Let me hide this thing so you can see the frame rate correctly. Okay. And I'll change the status to 720p Ultra so you know what's going on. All right, so as you can see here, 720p, highest settings, everything is cranked up to the highest option. We confirm and we go back into the match. Player 1 versus CPU, good, no limit in time. Hola Anish Fortnite, ¿cómo estás? ¿Todo bien? 
Ah, ok, nada mal. <ríe> no entendí nada. ¿Alguien sabe en qué gráfico se resolución ocurrió una GTX 30? Yo diría 720p, medios, debería dar para 60 FPS. Espero no estarme equivocando. Mm, I'm very happy about AOC G25. Oh, I see. Well, enjoy the monitor. Variable refresh rate is a fantastic thing. G4560 later. Yes, once I do the main videos, as usual. It should be fine. I mean, it doesn't seem to be that CP intensive. It seems to be more GPU bound. As you can see right now, the CPU usage is below 50%. The GPU usage is at 50%, but that's because we got a 60 frames per second cap. Which kind of sucks. Hopefully once the game releases, they patch it out, or somebody finds a way to unlock it. But at the moment, this is what we got. I'll take a look at the config file later. The config file, sorry. The config file later. Or maybe it has some, I don't know, force piecing. This game out yet? It will be out in around three days. If you pre-order the ultra, sorry, the ultimate edition, you should be able to access it today. But I just don't buy it to play three days early. I do it because I want to have the coverage ready. Since on Friday we got five games releasing the same day. So yeah, keep that in mind. Other than that, the game releases on Thursday night, I think. On the 14th of February. Okay, working perfectly. Yeah, 720p is more than enough for 60 frames per second, at least in this map. So, yeah, no worries if you have a 720p monitor, you can max it out just fine. So, yeah, I'm going to show you now. Probably 1080p again with the optimal settings and we'll play some of the story and I'll be done. I know it's pretty short but I wasn't expecting to get such good results so quickly and I have to go to sleep so I can make videos about this game tomorrow but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I failed on that one. Oh yeah, I don't need to show any more 720. 720p is pretty clear, I think. I didn't see any drops below 60. Any major drops, better said. <laughs> so yeah. Well, thanks, Biet. And I don't know how to continue your name, sorry. For the feedback, much appreciated. We're now going back into the options menu. So we go back to 1080. We lower shadows to medium. We low, lower post processing to high, so we keep the vibrance of the colors and some of the ambient occlusion. The effects will be on low or medium. Yeah, medium should be fine. Grass on medium. And that should be it. Pretty much medium settings with some stuff on high. I'm going to apply the settings. Good. So now I apply the settings. I'm going to change the status to 1080p medium. So it's 1080p. Medium, high, post process, and whoa, and AA. And I'll just make this a little smaller so you can read it. Awesome. So, yeah, these are the 60 ish FPS settings for 1080p medium shadows, ultra textures, high post processing, medium effects, grass on medium, and that's about it. So, we apply this. And we go, we keep going for the story. Since I, ha I want to unlock more stages, it will be pretty interesting to see. So let's play some missions. As you can see, the shadows here are a little weird, but they still look fine. We got no requests. Okay. What do I have to do then? <laughs> 
Oh man, I'm so... Oh, never mind. Here's the big exclamation mark. Just came in. Please test the 900p. I already did that. Just rewind the stream. 900p runs pretty good. Just lower effects to high and you'll be good. Okay, hopefully the stream doesn't drop again. Come on. Come on, OBS. Don't let me down. I cannot skip this, so I'm a little disappointed with that. But hey, no worries. I'll put the controller down and read your comments. The game is online, he has a PvP. Yeah, it should have PvP. It asked me to play online at the very start. I'd say it, no. So yeah, PvP should be a thing, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't even read. Let me see if I have a mission or not. Okay, I have to go to the other people, to Naruto and Luffy, in order to continue with the story. Which is a little boring, this is the hub area. You have a level, you make your own character. I just put accept and put Santiago X2 <laughs> and I started the game. Let's keep going with this one. Good time to stream, yeah. I mean the game just released a couple hours ago for the Ultimate Edition subscribers or something. The people that bought the Ultimate Edition. Don't do it if you are not a YouTuber or a streamer or something. It's not worth, in my opinion at least, it's too expensive for just early access and DLC. But hey, you put value to things. Yeah, 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 let me skip, please. Please, game. Please, let me skip. Can you try this game with an i5-4690K and a 750Di? I don't own that CPU, but the GPU I do. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Early tomorrow I'll be doing 1050Di and 750Di. Then on Wednesday, um, 1060, and I don't know what else. And I'll be doing that till around Thursday. Uh, we'll see what else later. Why capped FPS? Well, the game is just capped. You got either 30 or 60 to choose from. But since this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, somebody will just find a tweak on an INL file and make it work with outlock frame rates. So no worries about that, it will be uncapped soon. Hopefully that doesn't make the game run unexpectedly. But I will see what happens, only time will tell. Which games can I play i3 with 2 gigs of AMD graphics? Which i3 and which AMD graphics exactly? If you don't tell me that, I cannot help you. Sorry. Okay, I have to go to Luffy now and I should be able to play some missions. I just want more stages to test. At least one with water or grass or something to be able to test different areas. The city area seems to be very light on resources, the one from Times Square. So yeah. Let's talk to Luffy very quickly. Estás en modo historia? Sí, sí, estoy en modo historia. Alright. Okay, guys, I should be back now. Yeah, YouTube is not doing its job correctly, so the stream was buffering. Now I should be back. Let me know if it's fixed. It should be fixed. I restarted the live stream so YouTube can handle it correctly. I hate when it does that. I have no control over buffering. So, okay. Let me see what I have to do now. Nothing here. Okay. I'll try to go this way and see if there's a mission or something. I went to every single one of the NPCs. Okay, now it's okay. Thank you. I don't know why YouTube does that sometimes with the streams. No missions. Okay. Yeah, this this is online. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me see if I can go this way. Grande Juan, todo bien. ¿Cómo andas? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> kind of weird. But okay. I wish the characters ran faster. But that's not the case. Unfortunately. 
So yeah, let's go back to where we came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, this is super weird. I don't know what's going on. So let's get back to where we started. Genial, Juan, me alegro. Que disfrutes la PC. If RX 570 for... I already told you that, but probably the stream was lagging. With 10% less... If the RX 570 is 10% cheaper, I will get the RX 570 compared to the 1060. Mostly due to the VRAM. And, um, and yeah, I mean, you can undervolt it and all that stuff. So yeah. What is this? Nothing here. Okay, I'll just fight again an offline battle. And register my team, whatever that is. Okay. And let's see what happens now after I get to it. Okay, so player one versus CPU. Blah blah blah. Okay, so at least we see a little more fighting. Also, like preset. Yes, please. I want a preset. Okay, good. So the same characters against the same characters. Kind of weird. Jump Force no tiene de nuevo. En serio, no tiene. Pensé que tenía. Pero tiene easy anti cheat. He's using 16 gigabytes to be sure to run the game. If you use more than 8, you can see it anyway. Yes, that's true. That's actually the point of using 16 gigabytes in this case. But yeah, I mean, the game uses very little system RAM, as you can see, just for 4,200 megabytes at the moment. So, no big deal. Okay. He got me. Oh yeah, with these settings we get pretty good frame rates, but the game likes to drop frames when there are a lot of effects on screen, which is the majority of the time. So yeah, just be aware of that. As you can see there, it drops into the 50s when I use the, the attack. Come on. Oh, I couldn't dodge it. My bad. He got me. Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Jump Force on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. I think. <laughs> Hi Edgar, how are you doing? Good to see you. I should play the game instead of talking, but hey. <laughs> Whatever. Got him. And he got me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 60 FPS. Yeah, pretty interesting. With ultra settings, expect drops into the 40s when effects show up. I already tested that, but hey. Oh yes, you can see when this happens, that you have no control over the game, you drop into the 30s. But it's not a big deal, I mean, you're not in control at the moment. The Yeah, the opponent is, is having some control, but... I mean, considering all the effects that we have just before that one, I think it's pretty good. Oh, I'm so screwed. Yep. Let's see if this works. Hi, Sikandar Zaman. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I probably screwed up. How are you doing? 
Yeah, this is 1080, as you can see here. 1080p medium with high post process and high amine mean, occlusion. High anti aliasing, sorry. Gotcha. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Oh, not that again. Come on, Goku. Don't be cheap. Like me. Let's probably see this in cuenta mañana. Mañana voy a probar la 750 Dave. Tomorrow I'll be doing more tests. I'll be doing some 50 Di2. So be patient. I'll be good to that tomorrow. I have to sleep after this live stream. I just wanted to investigate a bit. He got me. Okay. But yeah, I want to keep going with the story a little bit more. Jesus. Yeah, as you can see, once a lot of effects show up, we can drop below 50, I have to do some extra tweaks. But yeah, other than that, I'm pretty impressed, considering what I saw on the consoles, with the performance and all that, drops into the 20s and all that. How much to get it early? The Ultimate Edition. If it's very expensive, just don't do it. Don't pre-order. Oh man. I think I dodged. Yes, I did. Okay, I'll be going back into the story. Let me see if I have something to do there. I was pretty lost. I didn't see the cinematics or anything. Can I upload that 10 video of you saying hello everyone? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe, maybe on April 1st. Where do I have to go? Maybe in the store I can buy more stages. Let me check real quick. Maybe I just doing whatever. We're putting our hearts into getting ready. Oh, come on. All right. Get out of that. Nothing here. Sí, a mí no me gusta tampoco este tipo de lobby. La verdad que no me gusta nada. I was saying in Spanish that I don't like the lobby systems in these games. It's a little, yeah, I don't like it. I feel like I'm wasting my time running around. <laughs> yeah, I know what team I want. Team, which one? <laughs> Alpha. With Goku. Dragon Ball Z, baby. Como lo tienes, pagué la edición Ultimate. La edición común en tres días sale. Era solo para hacer videos. No compré la edición Ultimate. Yes! Yes! Yo tengo esta gráfica y vos decís que aguanta para streamear Pug. Y si tenés un buen CPU, sí, por supuesto. Alright, let's keep it going. Oh, a training stage. Okay. Gotcha. So this one is not going to be super demanding compared to Times Square. But if it gives me more stages, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Let me skip. Is GPU, CPU overclocked? No, no overclock. Everything is running stock. Como tengo juego, compré la edición Ultimate. Ya, yeah, Ultimate Edition. No compro la edición Ultimate, por favor. <ríe> ¿Es GPU demandante este juego? Sí, muy GPU demandante. Especialmente cuando hay efectos en pantalla. As I was saying in Spanish, this game is very GPU bound. Especially when effects show up. There are a ton of them on screen. That destroys performance. Chase, left button. Escape while taking damage. Okay. 
that was important. <laughs> I wish I knew that before. Health gauge, red trigger, hold, red trigger. Okay, I knew that already. Then hold RT, yeah, I know that. Okay, good stuff. This one also looks pretty cool. And this one, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, the tutorial is very simple, good. Many people will be able to play the game correctly, hopefully. It's very similar in control to Cenovers 2, as far as I remember, but I'm not flying. That's a little disappointing, hopefully I get to fly later. They just changed some buttons around, but the system seems to be pretty similar. You just hold R2 and press one of the buttons, and you do the ability. No big deal, pretty easy to get used to. Yeah, also the teleporting after you hit square. Just hit square like a maniac and you'll teleport automatically. So yeah, super basic controls, good. Okay, good. Está hecho para que ganen los grandes, eh? No sé ni nada. The story mode is offline. As far as I know, it's not offline. You need to be online, as far as I know. But we'll see once I try it out. Try that out, better said. <laughs> but yeah, once I got into the game, it asked me if I wanted to go online. I said no. But probably, we're probably online anyways. We're just not against other players in the same lobby. But we'll see. How much did you pay for Jump Force? Because in Brazil it's 250 bucks. What? Well, I live in Uruguay, which is, I'm your neighbor, pretty much, Brazilian friend. I paid 60 bucks for the Ultimate Edition. In my country, yeah, due to the currency and all that, Steam puts the Ultimate Edition for 60 bucks. I took the advantage for the three, early, three days early and bought it, but I mean, $250, that's, that's very stupid. I mean, it makes no sense at all. Hopefully they change the price in Brazil. Yeah, it makes no sense. ¿Recomiendas comprar el componente para armar la PC de tienda Nexus o Mercado Libre? Mm, no conozco. Mercado Libre, bueno, depende si confías o no. Es un tema de confianza ahí con los vendedores. Yeah, Brazil. Well, it depends. Some games are cheaper in Brazil. So you cannot really complain. Try Nubem, that webpage that says keys in Brazil. Nubem is called N U U B M. Vegeta. Speak Portuguese? No, I don't, but I speak Spanish, so I can understand a little Portuguese. It came from the same place, after all. <laughs> Alright. Please let me skip. Please. Pretty please. But yeah, so far, it's running much better than I expected. I expected just the lower settings, 40 frames per second. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Please let me skip. I don't care. You like Brazil? It's too... the weather is too hot for me. Other than that, it seems to be a nice place. Yeah. I went on vacation, on vacation a couple times there. I want to eat loco. Dice Maria. Fragueiro. I want to wait a minute, but yeah, what happened? What is Okay, so I have some outfits here, I don't care, abilities... Okay, I just want more places to fight at. It doesn't seem to be possible at the moment. 
Yeah, that seems to be the main stage. Let me see if I can change that. If I can select the stage, it would be pretty cool. It doesn't seem to be possible. Let me see. Okay, I can select the stage now. Awesome. So now it's just a thing of testing different stages to see which one is the worst performing. There are a ton of them. Well, not that many of them. I expected much more. Let's select one with grass, at least. I want something that has some vegetation. This one has some grass, and this one does too. Let's do this one, because I like Dragon Ball. Oh, against Yu-Gi-Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh in a fighting game. ¿Qué opinas de Metro Exodus? Y que va a estar bueno el juego. Lamento lo de Epic Games Store, pero bueno, es lo que hay. Can you spell this for me? Hola, me uno me eh, Santiago Santiago. <laughs> sí, I screwed it up, yeah, I know. Okay, so this place has a ton of grass compared to Times Square that has no grass whatsoever. But the GPU usage seems to be pretty similar. Let's see with the effects on screen. If we drop below 50, it means it's more demanding. I will see. This one seems to be less demanding. Probably because there are no reflections on the floor, like on Times Square. So yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this one seems to be less demanding so far. Let's try with Naruto. This one is usually a bigger hit. No, it's not. Okay. So this one doesn't seem to be a taxing. Let's try a different stage to see if we can get a lower frame rate. Yeah, yeah, I know Einstein MLG, but I, I'm terrible at pronouncing in Portuguese. Okay, let's do now the Hidden Leaf Village. I don't know any of the guys in the opponent side. ¿Dónde has descargado la beta? No es una beta, es el juego final. This is not a beta, this is the final game. I, I got the Ultimate Edition, that's why I got early access. Tengo acceso anticipado porque compré la edición Ultimate. La edición Ultimate da tres días de acceso anticipado. Alright, so in the Hidden Leaf Village, it seems to be less taxing right now on the GPU usage side. There are no reflections on the ground, but there are some extra 3D objects. So yeah, this one doesn't seem to be as bad. And there are no... I mean, the, there's no grass compared to the other one. The other one it was full of grass. This one seems to be alright. Let's see once I switch to Naruto. Okay. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment. So yeah, I mean, this one doesn't seem to be much of a problem at all. I screwed it up. Okay, <laughs> we drop into the 50s there, but just once. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be a big deal either. So let's go back to change the characters again. ¿Sabes cómo le hace HP Omen con el i7? Pa, no tengo ni idea que i7 tiene ni nada, pero si es una de 60 no debería tener mucho drama. No puedo escuchar a Goku en japonés, <laughs> es raro. Es como, una, es como una niña, es rarísimo. ¿Qué hay que tomar en cuenta a la hora de comprar un gabinete? Y que entren en las partes que vos querés. Por ejemplo, que entre la placa madre, es el tamaño adecuado, que entre la placa de video, que entre lo que quieras poner dentro de él y que corra suficiente aire. Are you doing more than one card or nah? I'm just, I'm just doing the 1050 Ti. After this, I'm going to sleep. 
I will wake up at 6 in the morning and start doing the videos. That's pretty much the plan. So yeah. At the moment, just one card. But in a few hours, I'll start doing all the usual videos. It will be pretty cool. Okay, the background in this stage is much more interesting <laughs> than the other one. Okay, he's destroying me. Oh yeah, and the GPU usage seems to be higher than the Hit and Live Village, which makes sense. There's more stuff on screen. So yeah, this one seems to be performing better than Times Square, but worse at the Hit and Live Village. Let's see once I use some effects. Okay, into the 50s, as expected. Now Naruto with the tail, beast, bomb, brass and shuriken or something like that. He's destroying me. Okay. So this one seems to be a... Uh, I go to the middle ground, we got some reflections on the ice. And a lot of detail in the background. But Times Square seems to be still more demanding than this one. So yeah, let's switch once again to another stage. This is how I test fighting games. I go through each stage and try to see which one destroys the performance. So we did this one, this one, this one. Okay, let's do this one. New Zealand. There's water here, so it should be interesting. I can't, I'm not sleepy at all. What do you mean? <laughs> what, what is my preference? I don't know any of those characters. Sorry if I disappointed you. Go to sleep or try to. ¿Qué se como economizar con esto? No entiendo qué significa. Okay. Come on. Effects on screen. Okay. It doesn't seem to be too bad. Alright, this one doesn't seem to be so bad at the moment. I'll be trying to be close to the foliage heavy area over there. If I can get close, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Cell. Hello, sir. Okay, now there is some grass on screen. Whoa. That was quick. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, when they fall to the ground and do that big explosion, it's usually a bit hit to the frame rate. No big deal. You can fix it with the FX quality. Oh yeah, this one doesn't seem to be very taxing at all. At least on the GPU side of things. And yeah, if I manage to hit this attack, yeah, this one destroys the frame rate no matter where I am. For some reason, the GPU usage drops in those cases. Super weird. Oh yeah, I guess that's an exception. Come on. What? <laughs> what the hell is that? Where's my bow? Aura Aura and Muda Muda. I don't know what that is. Okay, I had enough of this stage. Let's jump into the next one. Pa. No juego el fútbol, por suerte, así que no entendí nada de lo que dijiste. Mystic Bandit. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're going to swap to another stage. We did all this. Let's do San Francisco. And after I'm done with all the stages, I'll be just going to sleep. Against Frieza, Sasuke and, Tr and Trunks. Okay, <laughs> the best team. Play Jotaro. Which one is that? I don't know. I never heard about that one. I'm not a really big fan. I only like Dragon Ball and Naruto. 
Alright, this one seems to be a good mixed bag. We got some foliage and we got some detail into the distance. This one seems to be pretty cool. So yeah, this one is more demanding than the previous one at the moment. Oh, he got me. Okay. No big deal. But these stages so far are very small compared to Times Square and all those. That's very cheesy of you. Thanks, Frieza. As I was saying, these stages are very small compared to Times Square. It seems that they weren't all out on that one and on the other ones. It's just a very small place. That's a little disappointing, to say the least. But yeah, this one seems to be behind Times Square at the moment. So yeah, I'll do some attacks and swap to the next one. A tall guy with a blue hat with chains in your clothes. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> okay, I got him. Let's go into the next stage. This one seems to be pretty taxing, like um, Times Square, but Times Square was a little wuss. So let's keep going. We now go to. We're in San Francisco, let's go to Japan. And we got two or three more stages, and I'll be done. Yo fui tacheteado, si sabelo. Un juego hecho para de otakus por otakus y para otakus. <ríe> A menos que tú estés Dragon Ball y Naruto. Ahí. Ahí no sos un otaku, literalmente. Solo conozco esos personajes. Julian and Chisco Taro. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get this down quickly. I forgot about that. Alright. This one doesn't seem to be too bad. There's not a lot going on. We have some trees there in the background, some destroyed stuff. But not as many light sources and... So yeah, a lot of geometry. And a, and a few reflections on the ground. But your barrel doesn't seem to be that taxing. This one seems to be the lightest one so far. Let's switch to Naruto. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be taxing at all, like the training stage, <laughs> I mean, not a lot going on for this one. I screwed that up. Yeah, I mean, no big deal on this one. Yep, even with big effects on screen. Still pretty well, uh, pretty well over 60, <laughs> to say it in some way. I kind of go this way, it's a little disappointing. Now he's angry, I don't care. And he's down. Okay, let's sw switch to the, swap to the next stage, better said. Yes, I'll do that, Einstein, MLG. So... Let's see. This one is one. And this is the other one, I guess. And I'll put Goku as well, because I'm a fanboy. Where's Goku? Oh, there you go. Against Goku, Naruto, and Luffy. How creative. And the stages. There are very few stages now. What the hell? I did Japan. Okay, guys, wait a second. I gotta try this again. Maybe for, because of the characters I selected, I got less stages. Which makes no sense at all. 
sorry about that. Let me see if this allows me to get more stages. Yes, what the hell. Okay, so depending on which characters you select, you get different stages, apparently. Interesting. That's super screwed up. <laughs> so yeah, let's... Yeah. That screws up all the testing, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll test one more stage. It seems that Times Square is the worst one. So yeah, let's select the characters you asked me to. I'm, I keep screwing up. Sorry about that. Okay, now we're talking. So I select... Hmm. This one, this one. And I don't know who this is. Against my characters. And let's play, yeah, Times Square. Uh, there's also Hong Kong. Let's try Hong Kong first, then I'll do Times Square one more time. And I'll dub it. Use the person of Yuki Moto. What do you mean? Recommendas la GTS de RX 580? Esa es la que yo tengo. Si haces Thunderbolting, va muy bien. That's why it has different maps. Yeah. That's screwed up. I wish we had all the maps for all the characters. It would be easier to understand. Alright, so this one in Hong Kong. Really similar to Times Square, visually. There's a ton of reflections on screen. Good stuff. Okay, he's kicking my ass. Awesome. But yeah, Hong Kong and Times Square seem to be the most demanding ones at the moment. Okay. There you go. Interesting. Come on. This is so weird. <laughs> and there's also bland. Oh. That's kind of creepy. And this guy, I don't know which one it is. They're kicking my ass, as you can see. Oh, you cannot. Okay, you're gonna stop him. Awesome. <laughs> But yeah, on the performance side, as I was saying, this and Times Square seem to be the worst ones so far. But this one has grass as well, which Times Square doesn't. So Hong Kong and New York should be the worst performance at the moment. It pro it's probably due to the, all the reflections, all the lights, and all that stuff. Oh man. I'm screwed with that one. <laughs> this one is the same as the previous one. And time is up. I forgot to put, put infinite time. This is Thunderbolt. Si, sí, tengo un video tutorial en el canal enseñando cómo hacer Thunderbolt. Tira muy buenas temperaturas con el Thunderbolt. Juan Félix. Va, no sé qué es Juan Félix. <laughs> Time stopper. Stopper. So, okay, guys, if you want to do a benchmark, maybe try Hong Kong or New York in the map selection. Other than that, the other maps run really similar or better. It seems to be due to the, all the geometry, plus all the lights, the reflections on the floor. And the maps are... Hong Kong and New York are pretty big compared to the other ones. At least it seems to be that way. And yeah, when this happens, <laughs> the frame rate is destroyed every single time, as you can see. It's just a lot of effects on screen. Still holding up pretty well. 
considering the card I'm using. But I'll lower a little, I'll lower the settings a little lower to get more stable 60 frames per second. But yeah, and he's dead. ¿Cuándo vas a hacer un directo en español? Jamás. Voy a hacerlo siempre en dos idiomas. Respondo en español cuando me hablan en español, respondo en inglés cuando me hablan en inglés, pero el 80% va a ser en inglés. Y bueno, y si eso no sirve, lo lamento. Eh, ¿Saben que lo hago en inglés así aprendemos? Sí, también. <ríe> y así yo aprendo también. Dale, suerte, Diego. Is that PC build good for gaming and say with me two, three years? I am going to buy it soon. Do you mean 1050 Ti plus i3 100? At this time, I will get the RX 570 instead. I mean, if it's if the price is similar in your country, I mean, do that. Better value for money. But yeah, it depends. Two or three years, hard to tell. We are going to swap consoles very soon, and that's going to drive up the system requirements. So yeah, very hard to tell at the moment. Oh man. Okay. Done. So for stable 60 frames per second I have to play it on low medium settings. Yes, it's super demanding. But I was expecting much worse than that. I was expecting to not even hit 60s on 1080p. Oh yeah, stable 60s is difficult due to the effects. The effects are what destroys the performance. And there are a ton of them on screen. It's, I mean, it's, it's insane. The only way to get 60s, even on finishers, I would say is 900p. 900p with high settings. On 1080p seems to be pretty difficult. So yeah, keep that in mind. But again, I was expecting way worse, considering the amount of effects, how the consoles run the game. So yeah, it could have been way worse, but it could be much better. I get the point. So yeah, I'm going to now finish the stream. That is about it. I have to go to sleep. It's, yeah, 12 a.m. So it's now officially Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. I will wake up at 6 or 7 in the morning and start recording all the videos so you guys can know how it performs on other GPUs, other CPUs. It seems to be more GPU bound than anything else. <clears throat> Excuse me. More than anything else. So yeah. I'm going to now finish this. It will be posted on YouTube with 10 stamps, all the kind of stuff, so you can know when I change the setting or something. But yeah. I see you tomorrow guys, thank you so much for watching this live stream, it's been an hour, I know it's a pretty short stream considering the two hours I usually do, but yeah, I have to go to sleep, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time, I'm going to say goodbye in Spanish now. Bueno, lo que estaba diciendo en inglés es que voy a terminar el stream ahora, se va a publicar en YouTube con marcas de tiempo, así pueden saltar a donde quieren, mañana voy a empezar a hacer videos de esto individuales, así ven cómo corre en más tarjetas de video. Pero sí, eso es todo por ahora. Gracias por mirar y bueno, nos vemos a la próxima. Chau. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, sorry. You just got here. That's no problem. You can see this later. Not a lot happened, I have to say. But yeah, hello everyone, and I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah, what a way to say goodbye, saying hello.